In this little bonus video, I'd like to show you a great resource for finding free stock images online. It's called unsplash.com. So take a look with me here. If you go to unsplash.com, you can see that there's a, a lot of different high quality, high resolution images that you can download for free. We're going to be using some images from unsplash.com in this project. So I want to show you exactly how you can find images to use. So because we're putting our subjects underwater, I didn't really have the opportunity to go out and shoot underwater um, for this image. So we're gonna use this um, website to find some images that will work for us. So if I just type in underwater here and search, you can see that we have a thousand underwater pictures that we can use. So let's go through these and see what we like. Usually when I'm going through this, if I see one I like, I'll just right click on it, open it in a new tab, and then it's saved there for me. We can just go through, the elements I really want to get here are a general background for the whole image, um, something that just shows the floor of the ocean, maybe, um, and maybe some water at the top. And then a good amount of space in between those where our subjects can fit. So this is awesome right here. That's exactly what I'm talking about, right? You see the top of the water, you see the base here, and then there's room in here to put the subjects. And then we need some elements like this, bubbles, um, just things that we can add to the overall composite. So I'll just go through here I want you to do the same and find images that'll work. You can either use the images that I'll be using or find your own. And I will link the images that I use to this video so that you can find them. Um, and if you want, use the exact same images that I'll be using. Or um, make it your own. and, and um, maybe use this as an opportunity to be creative and do something else with your composite. I would love to see what you come up with. One thing to know about stock image sites is they usually come pre color corrected and edited and everything. So if you took an image like this, it looks awesome, right? But I, it's just going to be downloaded as a JPEG and I can't really do much else with that. It's not like I'm downloading a raw image file that I can then go do really heavy edits on. So know that in general, what you download, you'll be using that image as it is. And of course, we'll make some adjustments, but in general, um, you can't or you, you want to avoid trying to do too much with them because making adjustments on a, a JPEG file can you just can't have as much room with that to be creative. So just keep that in mind when you find stock images. So when you find an image that you'd like to use, let's go to this one. This is awesome. You could either right click, save image as, and then save that to your computer, or you can just click here, download free, and then it'll download. And it'll, you don't have to give credit to the uh, original photographer if you don't want to, but if you'd like to, it gives you the information here to use. So again, I will link all of the images that I end up using to this video so you can go through and download those on your own to use in your composite or go through and find some images that you think will look good and make it your own and have some fun with it.